I, I think that's why the Stones okay, just um, canceled their their tour because I think at, Mick and Keith are fighting. At, at least the Ramones didn't hit each other like we just yelled and stuff, you know. But these guys actually I get into fist fights. I never. We only had a few, but they were just with one, and then the other would stand around and watch it. And you any dolls for not doing it. Dee, really. I wonder if you remember this one time. Oh. I convinced the Ramones oh, to come right. to my fucking tiny little town in Ellington, Connecticut, okay, and to play at a gig called the Country Squire in 1985. My whole high school was there, and you guys got pulled over by the police for speeding. Do you remember? And you were really late for the gig, and it was surrounded by cornfields. You guys played in my hometown in Connecticut. I convinced Joey to come there. Well, I, I'm sure I would have liked it. No, you weren't there. I'm telling you. Richie Bo was the drummer. Remember? You had Richie as the drummer, and you guys came in a little van. They got rid of him. Yeah, what's he doing now? He married an opera singer or something, right? Uh, nobody can find him, and we owe him money. And we're trying to pay him. Oh. I swear we don't know what happened to him because nobody can use it. It's just sitting there. Oh. You can't cash it yourself. You yeah. Know, just, well, that's we really, you know, Ira's not like that. He'll try and find you. I'll just Even John Carco. Well, that's not. Well, yeah. it's his loss that he'll get back. He was yeah, okay. He was okay, but Marky's a better drummer. Yeah. But Marky, um, they won't play with Mark anymore. Why? Oh, yeah, Johnny and Marky can't stand each other. Or Joey or me. I can't stand Marky or anything. Well, and I was I Mark's best friend. I always stuck up for him. Well, they don't. They talk good about you when I was backstage. Well, see what happened is they fought over me. Oh. And you can't play with Joey or you can't play with Mark, and we're always playing. Oh. And the orders I got were to start a band with them, and I have to do it. Mm. And I stuck with it and got yelled at. So who's being the most? Who's being the most stubborn now? Who doesn't want to play? Mark. Marky. Joey's totally crazy. I wouldn't deal with it. I love Joey though, he's a little sweetheart. I mean, he's always nice to me. To women. Yeah. You know. But I, I've, never, I've never seen him be nasty, so I don't know. I've seen Johnny be nasty. I was standing on stage at the last time they played here, the Adios Amigos tour. And he got so mad that me and Marky's wife were standing on stage, he kept going like this. Like, as in to the roadies, get him off the stage, you know, with his head. You know who I saw on uh, Motorhead? At Brixton, I think in October. That, that it was so refreshing. Really? Uh, and I decided if I ever started band uh, again, I'm gonna model myself uh, after Lemmy. And then, and then after the motorhead. Yeah. Well, so I was growing my hair like that, oh, and I had the mustache and everything. Really? Yeah, yeah, and finally, yeah, Mark yeah. drove me so crazy. I said, Mark, if you take off your wig, I will <laughs> he has, he shave my hair off. <laughs> Are you going to color it black? Or no, I wouldn't do that anymore. Oh. It's so horrible when you're my age to color your hair that way. You true. look like really bad. Yeah, that's then you look really bad. I didn't know that till I kept, I couldn't look in the mirror so anymore. <laughs> yeah, but you could do it brown. When the roots, I did all, I tried everything blonde, every color. It's when the roots show, you know you're old. What about red? That's the only reason I was in bands when I was a kid for the clothes. <laughs> I used to shop here at Cellbox and Peep and Kluckenberg. Really? All the cool boutiques in Europe, and we had a nice. They mark. still have Pete and Coke oh. back here. But it's food. not that nice now. No, it's, but it's, then it's, it's like, like Macy's now. It's like a Dutch store. It's it was a, a Dutch one, I think. It's, it's like Macy's now. Really? But. Those were the days in Berlin. Oh, well, you're going to make more days in Berlin. You're going to have a comeback to Berlin. We should have a Dee's coming back to Berlin giant party in the, right, in the Hard Rock Cafe and you, when you come back. And you know what I want to do too? The trio is a good thing to have. You, know, you might like this drummer. You know what you need is someone from oh, Berlin. Yeah. Okay? Someone from Berlin who's fit and fresh and ready to go. All right? I know so many musicians here. As soon as I get the word out, you're going to have to have auditions, Dee. Well, we're going to have to come back then. Yeah, yeah. You're always welcome here, I'm telling you. All we have to do is, they have to come to Queens. First Hills. They have to come to Queens? For what? Oh, where he breaks up with his girlfriend. Oh, yeah, Zia's Vec. Zia's Vec. That is great, yeah. you know. I can get a hold of them. No problem. And, well, you want me to get a hold of them? I can make some phone calls today. I didn't know you're into oh, the hip hop yeah. rap stuff. Actually, you did some rap. Well, songs. you know why I like Toad and Hosen because they were rap, and I liked them when they did rap. Well, oh, they love you guys. 
and um, yeah, um, but. Didn't you do some rap? I heard you turned into a rapper for a long time ago. I was doing rap till 1989. I didn't like it when LL.